In last year's Ichiban Kuji for Back to the Film, there were a lot of figures based on Broly in different iterations. Whether it was Super Saiyan Broly himself or characters from Broly films, there was a lot of Broly going on. In the history of film Ichiban Kuji that just released, they took a step back and only gave us one Broly figure. Although, this Broly figure looks really similar to the one that I really disliked last year from Back to the Film. I'm curious to see if my thoughts will change with the legendary Super Saiyan version of Broly as opposed to the Dragon Ball Super version of Broly. Let's find out in today's review of the legendary Super Saiyan Broly in his newest King Cluster. What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we are continuing the Ichiban Kuji series for history of the film with the legendary Super Saiyan. Hey. But like always guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, ring the bell notification so that way you get notified whenever I make a new video. I try to upload videos at least once a week. Like the video if you enjoy it and of course comment your thoughts down below in the comment section at the end of the review so that way we can discuss this figure. So this figure is something uh, I was actually the most worried about in this set. As you guys know, last year I reviewed King Cluster Broly. I think it was the first video I did for this entire set. And they had a similar design to this one with the veins and, and like the more realistic kind of details on him rather than more of like an anime aesthetic. I did not really like it. So I'm hoping this one is going to change my mind on kind of the style. We're gonna find out once I unbox it and review it. Um, but before we dive into the review guys, if we can hit- 200 likes for this video before this Friday I will upload probably the biggest figure of this set Super Janemba on Friday so please guys share this with a friend hit that like button so that way we can hit the goal of 200 before Friday and um, yeah we'll get down with Super Janemba this Friday hopefully but without further ado let's dive into this we'll do some size comparison some background and of course at the very end we'll give a rating out of seven Dragon Balls for this Broly let's go This figure is based on Broly in his legendary Super Saiyan form from the Dragon Ball Z film, Broly's Second Coming. I don't know if this pose is based directly on the film, but I did find this art from Dragon Ball Legends that looks very similar. Ichiban Kuji is a limited run lottery system created by Banpresto. These figures are usually exclusive to Japan and will have their overseas or Ichibancho versions released in limited quantity, if at all. The prizes vary from art boards, towels, phone straps, or a plush, but the most sought after prizes are the figures and usually the last one prize is the most valuable. This set consists of Super Saiyan Gohan, Super Saiyan Goten, Cooler, Metacooler, Turles, Janemba, Beerus, and Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. This Kuji set was released in Japan on August 4th, 2022 and will not have an overseas release. There are no variations of this figure currently. You can find them on eBay or Facebook collecting groups for about $125 to $150. This figure is made of PVC and ABS. He stands at just over 10 inches and his arm reaches up to about 12 inches. Broly comes in three pieces. He comes whole with his hand and support for his foot. I'm absolutely shocked with this figure. His likeness is awesome. With the last King Cluster Broly in this style, I feel like they overdid it with the veins on his face. They went in a little more reserved with this Broly and only added some veins on his forehead. But his maniacal face and eyes are perfectly captured here. The added details of the anime lines on his face and how well his mouth was sculpted just oozes with craft. 
paint and shading are awesome. They added glossy paint finishes to all of his jewelry on his body and went with more muted colors around the figure. He may not be as bright as the other legendary Super Saiyan Broly King cluster, but his paint and colors are well placed. He also has shading all over in his hair, skin, and sash. His size and scaling are also perfect. He's shorter than the other Broly in this form, but make no mistake that this is still a big figure. He's crouching, similar to the last Broly from back to the film, but still comes out to be a bigger figure than the others in my collection. Well done for a hulking character like this. The sculpt is surprisingly awesome. His hair is very much close to the source. In fact, he probably has more hair than normal, but I love how wild it is. Like I said earlier, they went with a more reserved take with the veins on this figure, so it fits better all around and isn't super distracting. I also love the added detail of his scar on the front and back side of the figure being carved into the figure rather than just painted on. You can even see they added some fleshy details into his scars. Fantastic sculpt all around. Overall, this is probably the biggest surprise of the set for me. After not really liking last year's Broly in Back to the Film and his style that much, this one really impressed me. The QC issues of this whole set are gone, and this figure just fits the veiny, realistic style so much better than the last. I love a lot about it, and am happy I wasn't disappointed. I'm giving this one 7 out of 7 Dragon Balls.